Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. With time, more evidence or more events surface. And uh, with that, we can tweak or sometimes entirely change our assessment of a certain event that it occurs, it's been occurring. In this case, the war in Ukraine. The war in Ukraine, it seems to be now for me at least, more and more a self-destruction of the Western civilization and Western world. It's been done twice. Now you can say, or we can say, hey, they did it to themselves, the Europeans. Not so fast. Not so fast. I see a lot of connections or parallels that we can draw between the First World War, Second World War, and now this one, the third so-called world war between the Europeans and Europeans. At the behest, is that how you say it? At the interest of someone outside, but somehow inside. For people who know uh, what I'm talking about, or where I'm going, bear with me. I'm not going to name the names, but I'm going to name certain names. So we have here uh, a few articles. Well, I will make a point that, again, these guys uh, are having us fight and destroy ourselves. Question and answer about the First World War and the Second World War. Yes, yes, it was a uh, uh, war instigated uh, by uh, a war started between, you know, European countries with animosity, hatred directed towards one another, interests. A stupid ego and um, I agree with that the first world war the second world war was uh, due to a certain circumstance created by the first world war mainly certain situation and then you got people who would you know try to uh, make things right in their brain you know but the magnitude of the first world war and the second world war the magnitude was caused by I think by the interest, outside interest, and that was with their own goal to achieve their own goals. And they didn't matter. It didn't matter how many Europeans died. I think that's the case now in Ukraine. More and more, I think that we're going to have a third world war, conventional third world war. They, and I'm not going to mention who they are. You know who they are. They hope because if it's a Third World War with the destruction, then it's a fulfillment of a prophecy. So maybe it's a win-win for them. So I think we're going to head towards this. I, I was inclined to think we're not going to get to that point where really we are going to be propagandized uh, and infiltrated with so much hatred to one another that we will uh, be involved. But I think we will be involved against Russia against European Russians, the European Putin, in the name of them, they will maneuver things. Active war, active war. I have right now, I'm 98% certain that will occur. That's my current statement or state or uh, uh, um, assessment of where things are. Well, let me show you here. And that's based on previous examples and where things are going with this for now. Um, approved 61 billion dollars for Ukraine and 20 some billion, 26 billion dollars for Israel. Interestingly enough, we have these guys here in CNN, and we have they are laughing at us. They are laughing at us, and they're mocking us too. How imbecile, how imbecilic we are! And I'm quoting: "Thank you, America." Ukraine's Zelensky, Ukraine's Zelensky, that's very well put. And Israel's Netanyahu hail house passage of 95 billion foreign aid package. Now, to remind you, Zelensky is Jewish, Netanyahu is Jewish. United States is not Jewish, but United States helps them. No, they help actually Israel, right? And Ukraine, right? Okay, you connect whatever dots you want to connect. I don't uh, push towards any connection. That's all I need to tell you about this. So United States of America funds 
two wars against other enemies of the same kind. In this case, by using us, we're gonna fight the Russians. For whom? Anyway, uh, remember, the First World War started with uh, Lusitania. Not started, uh, for the Americans got involved after Lusitania, sinking of Lusitania. It was, what, 1915 or so. When the Americans were sending weapons and rounds, ammunition, to the Brits. And the Germans told them, don't do that. That's against, if you help a warring country, you are part of the war. And when they sunk it, then the public opinion, oh my God, like right now, oh my God, look at these guys. And that's how the United States was dragged into a war, Europeans with the Europeans. Americans, yes, Europeans. And then we go to, um, you, nine, we're talking about what, 1914, 1915. Then we have the Second World War. Again, how was US uh, America dragged in a war? By an unprovoked attack by the Japanese. Correct? Correct. And then declared war to one another and automatically drew the Allied, the axis of evil Germans, to declare war in the United States of America. Therefore, Zelensky was happy with this. And then we got everything and then who won in uh, what? three years after 1945. All right. So with our resources, we killed ourselves, one another. This war will escalate. Let me show you more. So not only did they take their money, they mock whomever disagrees with giving them the money. So here we have Insider, Business Insider. Can I stop this garbage? Marjorie Taylor Greene, mocked by fellow lawmakers, it's just a fellow American, called on her to be appointed as Putin's special envoy. The, who is that who mocks our American? Well, this guy. You know who this guy is? Yeah, it's on the right side of the screen. This is Mr. Jared Moscovich. All right, let's go back to the article. Jared Moscovich mocked MTG calling to make her put in special envoy to Congress. Why? You got what you want. You got what you want. Oh, you can't even have dissent? All right. That's democracy for you. The only democracy by Mediterranean Sea. East Mediterranean Sea. The move came in response to Green's amendments that proposed Ukraine aid supporters enlist in the fight against Russia. Yeah, put your uh, whatever where your... Uh, mouth is. And I'm going, if you want to fund the endless foreign wars, you should have to, to go fight them. Green said, nah, they don't do that. They have others fighting for them. The Americans and the Americans, or the Americans and the Ukrainians. Anyway, Jared Moscovich, a Democrat, represented Florida, <laughs> congressional, pop, pop, pop. So this is the Moscovich, the Moscovich. All right, just like you and I, right here. Oh my God, don't tell me. He's Jewish too? Oh, okay. I, 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 I didn't know. All right. Well, it's not ending over there because you have to activate each and every garbage. Here is another garbage. Vindman, according to The Hill, US passing more aid would provide Ukraine with big boost of morale. Why is this guy with his brother promoted? Because of that. No, no, I don't think so. It's just a coincidence. Um, a lot of people say a lot of things. That's true. This is a colonel. I would say disgraced. But he's a colonel. He is a Jewish, Ukrainian, U.S. military colonel. Retired or retarded, however how you prefer. He was asked, he was asked, or not asked, offered, he was offered the job of if I remember correctly, Ukraine's defense minister on two or three occasions by the Ukrainians. And remember that one? If you don't go and check it out. And he said, uh, it's too obvious, motherfuckers. And he said, no. When he was, uh, he was uh, deployed, he had something to do with the Eastern Europe and Ukraine. The Ukrainians want to hire him. Now, he's a Ukrainian, you know. He comes and tells us, yeah, that's a great thing, man. It's a great thing. The other one mocks 
the American. The other two, thank you, America. Great job. Suck more fat for you. All right, I'm not done. I'm not done. And the last one here, the guy in charge. U.S. Senate to vote on Ukraine aid package on Thursday, on Tuesday. Who's this? This is Chuck Schumer, Senator, New York Senator, state of New York Senator, one of the two. As a coincidence, he's Jewish too. He is the um, majority leader, Senate majority leader, Chuck Schumer, has announced that U.S. Senators will come out of recess to vote. <laughs> come out, motherfuckers, from your holes, or your pussies, wherever you are to vote on aid to Ukraine on Tuesday, 23rd in April. The US Senate stands ready to take the next step on the national, national security supplemental. So we have this national security, our national security, we're told. We were under attack, like after Lusitania, after Pearl Harbor. We have to act, we have to respond after September 11 for the same thing, or partly. I think, I think that we will be dragged in a hot war with Russia and they will create the right environment, maybe an incident like Lusitania incident or like you know, 7th of December 1941, um, you know, the Japanese uh, attack on Pearl Harbor and we're going to fight for in self-defense against because we are moral and they are evil. Their, their mass media will tell us. Their own mass media will tell us. The fact that these guys, I knew that, will they pass this, they call it aid. That tells me it's gonna go on and on and on. I thought for <clears throat> let's say uh, maybe 20%, I said I had doubts that these guys would get us into a hot war with Russia. And actually, we can have a world war. The third conventional world war, they hope, because Moscovitz, uh, Schumer, uh, Netanyahu, Zelensky and Windman, they win either way. They are on the winning side, with someone else's hands picking up the hot potato from the fire. That's how I see it. And time will tell. I can tell you they will have a war. They will have a war. And these baboons will promote it. Why? First, because they're baboons. And the second, because the other guys are going to propagandize them in such a way. Well, what's going to happen? We're going to destroy ourselves big, big time. Until they took control of the whole thing really, really uh, big time. Remember, capital has no nationality. Banks can lend money to whomever. I lend to Napoleon, I lend to Wellington, and so on. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy ourselves as well, again. And who's gonna be the saviors? The banking system. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.